Hello everybody, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the Eden Audio Show. On this channel, we get a little bit of everything. Sometimes I play your music, sometimes I like to chat, sometimes I show you new products that have just arrived. Tell me what you would like to see here on the Eden Audio channel, and I'll be happy to oblige. But today I've got a little bit of news for you. A couple of months ago, I received a letter. Well, I didn't receive a letter because no one sends any letters this day and age, but I received an email from Marco, the owner of M2 Tech in Italy. Now I'd heard of M2 Tech years ago when they used to make those little converters that you used to plug into your computer. They had a very, very good reputation, but I hadn't heard much of them for the last few years. So I was quite surprised to receive an email from Marco at M2 Tech and he asked me if I'd be interested in some of their products. Knowing that they had a good reputation, I was more than keen to try out the products that they had. So I put in an order for some of their products to show here at Eden Audio. The first product that arrived was the Young Mark III DAC. It is also a preamplifier. I've been running it in and listening to it over the last few months and I've been using it with my absolutely fantastic Aurelia Serica XL loudspeakers and together they sound absolutely out of this world. Brilliant combination. Then I bought something else from M2 Tech and that product is the product that I'm going to show to you this morning. It's the Crosby amplifier. Come with me, let's go take a look shall we? I would firstly like to start off with a little disclaimer and that is that neither Marco nor M2 Tech have in any way asked me to review or present the Crosby amplifier that I'm about to show you. The amplifier has been completely paid for and that goes the same for all the products that I show here on my channel. No manufacturer has asked me for a review or a presentation of their products for a free product. Everything that you see on the Eden Audio YouTube channel has been paid for by myself. I'd just like to get that clear before we press on with this little presentation I've got here of the M2 Young Crosby sorry, amplifier. The Young I bought a couple of months ago, the Young 3. The Young 3 is a DAC 
come preamplifier. And I wanted something from M2 Tech that obviously matched up with each other. So the perfect match for the young preamplifier DAC is the Crosby amplifier. If you'd watched the previous upload of mine, I was talking about today we seem to have a choice of which way we would like to go when it comes to buying a hi-fi system. Do we go down the retro look? Which personally I think looks absolutely fantastic. I really do. I really, really like the uh, retro look in hi-fi. Or do we go for a 21st century look, a very technical modern look? What road do we go down? What choice do you like to make when it comes to buying your hi-fi? As I say, we can go retro or we can go modern. I think as long as we keep away from the 80s and all of those buttons, we'll be okay. And that brings me to this amplifier, which I'm going to show you from M2 Tech. As I say, it's the Crosby. Hopefully you can see that there. And as you can see, it looks absolutely nothing like an 80s piece of hi-fi equipment. Do you remember those 80s gear? They used to be absolutely plastered with buttons and controls on the front of them. Not so with this Crosby amplifier. All you get when you turn it on is an LED there in the center. Now I know a lot of us like to complain about our hi-fi gear. And one of the things a few people complain about is the brightness of the LED light. Now I must say that the LED light on the Crosby is actually quite bright. So that's something to bear in mind. If you don't like bright LED lights, then maybe you're best to keep away or stick a piece of tape over the LED light there of the Crosby uh, plus the amplifier. Class D, I hear you say. Goodness me, you're not an audiophile if you buy a Class D. But are we being a little bit too general when we talk about Class D? Because Class D, when people hear the word Class D, they tend to think of digital. They think the D means digital, where it doesn't. So automatically they start thinking, oh goodness me, not one of those horrible sounding tripath amplifiers. But... As I say, I think we're being far too general when we talk about Class D because it's like saying all valve amplifiers are brilliant. They sound wonderful, all of them. But do they? What about turntables? We could say all turntables sound brilliant. Do they? Of course not. And it's the same with Class D. I've heard some Class D and they've sounded boring. Really, really boring. Flat, no life to them. Dull. But does that mean that all Class D I would lump into that same category? Of course not. You need to try other other Class D amplifiers or other turntables or other valve amplifiers. You just can't make a presumption that because you heard one and it didn't sound very good, all of them are not going to sound very good. Because there is very, very good Class D amplifiers. You might hear people say, well, they belong in a subwoofer. Again, try and get out there and listen to them. Because I think if you heard the young, if you, the young with the Crosby, I think you'd have a very, very different opinion. Because I've lived with them now for a couple of months, and I can tell you that the sound quality is quite exceptional. And the value for money is very, very high. I've got, as I say, I've got this matched up to the M2 Tech Young 3 preamplifier and 32-bit DAC. The loudspeakers I've got are from Aurelia and they're the Serica XL and the sound quality blows me away. It really, really does. I have a very, very out-of-the-box sound stage. I love that. I love that type of presentation where the sound comes completely out of the loudspeaker and the loudspeakers disappear and the sound's just there. Like an image floating in front of you. A very sort of um, electrostatic kind of sound presentation. Beautiful. It really does. And it is by Class D. What's good about Class D? Very, very efficient. Low ele lower electricity bills. Don't know if that's in focus there. Look how small that is. Doesn't take up any space. 
As I say, do you remember those amplifiers and hi-fi you used to get at the 80s? Big, black, massive, ugly boxes? Not so with this young. Take a look at that. Beautiful piece of modern hi-fi. Now I'm going to show you the rear of the amplifier and I'm going to explain a little bit about it for you. Now, quite obviously here, we've got the on and off switch. And next to that, I need to explain to you about the IEC plug, because there's something about this IEC plug that you need to be aware of, because quite a few of us, when we buy Hi-Fi gear, we like to upgrade it, don't we? We like to put an aftermarket power cable on it to try and improve the sound. But what you'll find with the IEC on this amplifier here, that it is very close to the speaker terminal. Why is that a problem? Well, the problem is that with aftermarket power cables, you tend to get a rather larger size EEC plug, don't you, from Oyedi, Buratec, Aigo, for example. The IECs on them are large. So you can have a little bit of trouble fitting it in here because it's going to start banging and pushing on the speaker outlets. Another thing you need to bear in mind with M2 Tech products is that is that you need to read the manuals with these type of products. Us men, we don't like to read the manual generally, do we? But you will find that with the young, especially the young, you will read, you will need to read that manual to fully grasp how it works because otherwise you're going to be scratching your head about some of the functionality of the young. And the same could be said of the Cros Crosby. Even though it's a little bit more simpler, there are there are a few features of this amplifier that needs to be pointed out and we need to read the manual about. The first one is, is the input. Here we see, keep knocking that microphone there. Here we have SE and BAL. Not sure how you can see that. I'm going to hold that up a little bit closer. The camera can focus in on that. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. They're a bit slow there focusing on these uh, Panasonic cameras. I don't know if you can see that clearly or not. Anyway, I'm going to explain it to you. It's quite simple, really. SE single-ended. BEL balanced. Single-ended. Balanced. If you can see that here. These are the balanced. These are the single-ended. Now, what you'll notice on the Young... Oh, I'm trying to keep remembering the names of these products. On the Young DAC is that uh, the outputs are balanced. So the best way to connect the Young to the Crosby is by these connections here. So what we do, we have this little switch here and we just move it to the left or we move it to the right. To the left, to my left, it's single-ended here to the left or we move the switch over here to the right for the balanced. And that's it. You'll also notice you've got trigger, trigger switching on and off. You need to put that also into the off position. Again, I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly. Put the trigger in the off position. Now, the other thing you also need to be aware of, what you can do with this amplifier, is that you can use it how I've got it currently. And that is in stereo. You can also use these as mono blocks. Now, if you want to use that as a mono block, here it's quite simple. It says mode STBRG. Again, not sure if you can see that clearly or not. ST or BRG. What does that mean? Well, quite simple stereo, single power amplifier in stereo. Or we can move it over, put it into BRG, bridged, and we can use it as a mono, mono power amplifier. So one amplifier will drive the left speaker, and another amplifier will drive the right-hand speaker. And that's it. That's all we really need to know. So for me, using it as a stereo power amplifier in its current form, I put the switch there to the left. 
into stereo. So that's just a quick explanation of the rear of the Grosby amplifier. I'm sitting there dying to know how it sounds and what my opinion of it is. But I'm going to tell you straight away, it sounds absolutely brilliant. If you like an amplifier that knows how to grip and control your loudspeakers, then you really will love the presentation of the uh, Crosby amplifier. If you like a mellow, warm, lush, laid-back sound, then probably this wouldn't be the amplifier that would suit your needs. As I say, if you like a dynamic sound, a transparent sound, a sound that controls that bass and grips it really, really tightly and never lets go. As I say, the, the equipment I've got this matched up to currently is the Young 3 DAC. Outstanding DAC. Really, really is. If you like high resolution sound, then you would love the Young DAC. Beautiful thing. As I say, I'm using that also as a preamplifier and the Young as a mono power amplifier. The speakers I've got are probably the best £6,000 pair of loudspeakers I've ever had here at Eden Audio. The first time I heard them, I just absolutely fell in love with them. And you can probably guess I'm talking about those Aurelia. The Aurelia Serica XL. They are just... I, I can't put it into words how good they sound. The sound just breaks free. I'm trying to not bash that microphone again. The sound just breaks free from the confines of the cabinet. It's just so holographic, the way music's just presented there in front of you. You can tell what instruments are to your left or to your right, to my left, or to my right, to your left. It's so clear, the separation of sound. It just makes it so enjoyable to listen to. And with the young in tow, with the Crosby, sorry. God, the young Crosby and Nash. Goodness me, it gets confused too, too. With the Crosby. The way, as I say, it just grips and controls the sound and keeps it all in check. Effortless power. Effortless grip. I can't recommend it highly enough. And the beauty also of M2 Tech is, is that it's a European-made product without the obscenely crazy price tag. These are just over. Just over a thousand pounds. Not that much, is it? When we look at other prices from other manufacturers, a thousand pound for a very, very classy sounding amplifier. Even those that might not like Class D, give it a try. Give it a listen. You might well be surprised at just how good it really does sound. As I say, I'm really impressed. As I say, I've heard Class D that sounded flat. Boring, lifeless. But not with this bad boy. No way. Highly, highly recommended. Very, very enjoyable to listen to. M2 Tech have presented a very well built. Always like to give it the knuckle test here at Eden Audio. Lift it up a little bit higher there. Give it the knuckle test. Well built. Solidly built at the back. Modern, simple lines on the front. I give it the thumbs up. Great job M2 Tech, really enjoy listening to that.